The Ohio State Penitentiary, was a prison operated from 1834 to 1984, in downtown Columbus, Ohio. The prison was completed in 1815, replacing a more primitive one. It initially consisted of 13 cells. And its first inmates were two brothers, John and David Evans, who arrived August 15, 1815. Upon its opening in 1890, the prison was an intermediate penitentiary, a facility where first-time offenders who were too violent for industrial schools could serve their time. Inmates were taught basic trades for release and reintegration into society. However, as prison populations swelled in the 20th century, the reformatory was forced to accept inmates convicted of more serious and violent crimes. Starting in 1897, 315 inmates were executed in the prison's electric chair. In 1885, the penitentiary became the site for executions, which had been carried out by local law enforcement officials up to that time. At first, prisoners condemned to death were executed by hanging, but in 1897 the electric chair replaced the prison's gallows. Both men and women were electrocuted between 1897 and 1963, when the death penalty was halted in Ohio. While the prison's day-to-day -day operations were enough to cast a shadow over the site, there were certain events, that would force Ohio State Reformatory to close its doors in 1972. In one instance, a riot broke out in the East Cell Block. The guards condemned 120 rioters, to share 12 solitary confinement cells, for one week without food or water. This punishment drove many to the brink of madness and death. Another was the fire of 1930. On April 21, 1930, a major fire killed 322 inmates and hospitalized another 230 in what was one of the deadliest fires in North American prison history. The fire started when a candle ignited oily rags on a roof in the prison's six-story west block. It was first noticed after prisoners had been locked in their cells for the evening. Reports say that many guards refused to unlock cells when smoke entered the cell block and left the prisoners in their cells, although some did provide help. Some inmates overpowered a guard and took his keys, which they used to rescue other prisoners. A prison riot developed and firefighters arriving to fight the blaze were attacked with rocks. A cordon of penitentiary guards was deployed about the towering prison walls. Other squads took up vantage points in guard towers and by this time 500 soldiers from Fort Hayes, a local military post, were on the scene. Machine guns were placed at the gates and on the walls. Bayonets were fixed and the troopers were ordered to shoot to kill. A troop of National Guardsmen soon augmented the regulars, and 30 minutes after the fire started, the prison was completely surrounded. Prison officials later alleged that three prisoners intentionally started the fire as part of an escape attempt, of which two were said to have committed suicide in the months after the event. The prison is also said to be haunted. After the closure of the Ohio Penitentiary in 1984, the building stood vacant for more than a decade, though it was used as a training site for a time by the Ohio National Guard, was briefly known as the Demon Pen for Halloween festivities, and attracted a number of urban explorers. Because of the trespassing and vandalism, the state opened the penitentiary to the public, in 1995. The Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society was formed. They have turned the prison into a museum and conduct tours, to help fund the grounds rehabilitation projects, and currently work to stabilize the buildings against further deterioration. Visitors and tour guides have been pushed and punched by unseen forces. As with other haunted locations, many claim to feel an inexplicable chill while on prison grounds. Additionally, witnesses have heard cell doors slam and seen dark apparitions. Even the road leading to the Ohio State Reformatory seems haunted. Local legend suggests it is the ghost of Phoebe Wise, a notorious Mansfield hermit. The ghosts of these violent and maltreated men are not easily silenced. During its 94 years as a working prison, 154,000 inmates passed through the gates of the Ohio State Reformatory. Many died of diseases like influenza and tuberculosis, some went mad, others hung themselves, and at least one inmate lit himself on fire. Just outside the reformatory, stands 215 numbered graves, a vivid testament to the harsh reality of prison life.